Number 23. Find the sample size needed to estimate the percentage of Democrats among registered voters. Use 0 0.03 margin of error. Okay, so that's E. So capital E is called the margin of error. So 0 0.03. 90% confidence level. All right, so 90%. And assume the probability of a registered Democrat is 0.33. So we know that the probability... I'm going to call that the target proportion of a registered Democrat is 0 0.33. Okay, so we're basically asked to find the sample size n, right? It says find the sample size, and it's the sample size needed to estimate a percentage. So what we do is we go to StatCrunch, and we go to Stat, Proportion Stats, one sample, and then you go to with sample size. Okay, so again, because it says uh, estimate percentage, you know it's going to be proportions. So you go to stat, proportion stats, one sample, and then with sample size. And then here we enter everything. So the confidence level is 0 0.90. The target proportion is what we think. So, so we know that um, the probability of a registered Democrat is 0.33. So we know it's 0.33. Notice the default was 0.5. That's because if you don't have any previous knowledge, you assume there's a 50-50 chance, so you leave it at 0.5. What about the width? Well, to figure out the width, all you do is you take your E and you multiply it by 2. So the width is always going to be 2 times E, always, no matter what. So 2 times 0 0.03 is 0 0.06. So you type that in, 0 0.06, click Compute. There it is, n is equal to 665. Notice when I hit Compute, um, this changes. Watch, let me do it again. I'm going to type in the width, 0 0.06, and I hit Compute, boom, and it changes. And so I have a theory on why it changes. If you do this by hand, there's a formula, and the formula you're always supposed to round up. And so I think the software is rounding up, and then when it does that, it has to change this number. That's, <laughs> that's my theory. So because of an internal rounding error, I think it changes. Because look, I'll do it again. Boom, and it changes every time. So kind of interesting. So the keywords in this problem are sample size, so you know you're looking for n, and then estimate a per estimated percentage. And so whenever you have that, again, you go to stat, proportion stats, one sample, with sample size. Okay, you type everything in. Now, the target proportion is 0.5. You usually leave that alone. In this case, we changed it to 0.33, and that was because they gave it to us. A lot of the times in the problems, they don't give you that, so you just leave it alone. And so in this case, the answer is part A. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.